It's time for Don't Give the Day. Don't Give the Day, huh? I'm gonna fatten all that shit around your eye. They want this man to throw them blows, man. They waiting for Charlemagne to tap these gloves. Let's go. They had to make a judgment of who was gonna be on the Donkey of the Day. They chose you. Yes. It's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? Yes, Donkey of the Day for Thursday, September 26th goes to a woman named Shelly Scully. Oh, the mayonnaise is heavy in this story. Now, I was looking at Fox5NY.com as well as Daily Mail online, and they both reported a story about a social studies teacher at John W. Dodd Middle School in Freeport, Long Island, named Shelly Scully. Now, what is Shelly Scully being accused of? Well, a woman named Darlene McCurdy took to Facebook to let people know that her, as well as her granddaughter, had some concerns about... Shelly Scully's class assignments. Would you like to hear what is the assignment that has people in an uproar? Let's go to Fox 5 NY for the report, please. A controversial assignment is being called racist and insensitive in Freeport. This after a social studies teacher at John W. Dodd Middle School handed out an assignment for students to come up with a funny caption for photographs of slavery because she didn't want to be bored. Pastor Arthur Mackey Jr. says photos of the assignment were widely shared over the weekend on Facebook. It shows different pictures of former slaves during the Reconstruction era. Mackey calls it downright disturbing, especially when we as a country have made so much progress. Mackey, along with some community residents, are calling on the district to terminate the teacher's teaching certificate. In a statement, the Freeport Superintendent of Schools says any insensitive comments made by staff are taken very seriously. However, no further comment could be made as an investigation is underway. You gave the kids pictures of slavery and asked them to write funny captions about it. Uh, do I need to continue? No. Or do some donkey of the day sell themselves? Okay, I'll just talk a little bit more. You know when I hear quotes like this, I think of the words of Malcolm X when he said, uh, only a fool will let his enemy teach his children. What does that quote mean? Malcolm was basically saying black people need to build their own schools and take control of their kids' education. Okay, you have to educate children in the ways of their culture to maintain their culture and to, to advance our interests and maintain our survival. You cannot help but to be reminded of that quote when you hear stories like this. Why, Shelly? Why? Okay, you wanted kids to make funny captions of slavery because you were bored? <laughs> I know what this is. So you be on social media, probably Facebook. Okay, there's a white Twitter too, just like there's a black Twitter. And you know, you and your fellow human jars of Hellman's, y'all be on there trying to be funny and witty and as creative as black Twitter. And you don't got no bars. So being that you don't got any bars, you did what plenty of white people uh, have done, and that's let black people do the work and white people take the credit for it, okay? I'm saying all that to say, come up with your own meme caption, Shelly, all right? And it's one thing to have a cultural blind spot, uh, say something, do something that you may not realize is highly offensive, but Shelly, come on, you knew this was offensive. And when you are the descendants of the oppressor, the privileged, the children of those who actually benefited off the blood of our ancestors who built this country for free, you can't make jokes about black trauma simply because you're bored. Please let Chelsea Handler give Shelly Scully the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan Mayonnaise. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.
now. When we come back, let's talk uh, Jeezy and Jeannie Mai. Mm-hmm. Now, you were talking about this in the rumors. Uh, yes, we were talking about Jeannie Mai and the rest of the reel. They were on Big Boy's Neighborhood. And Jeannie Mai was just talking about how she felt like because she's in an interracial relationship with Jeezy, it's important to get to know each other's backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Right? And... <laughs> What were you going to say, Envy? No, I was going to play the clip of it. Okay. When you look at the word interracial, you should really look at it like inner responsible. It is a responsibility when you date outside your race to learn about that culture because not everybody's experience is the same. When he steps into my house, he takes off his shoes. He knows how Vietnamese people do it. When I met him, I was like, I want to go to Hawkinsville. Show me like, exactly this yellow house that you grew up in and, and what kind of, how'd you start your business? How'd you understand how to make a dollar? Why should you think only uh, Vietnamese people take off their shoes when they walk in somebody's house? Yeah, that's not true. You that's, definitely. That's, you, 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 yeah. Why she think that's just a Vietnamese <laughs> thing? You take off your shoes when you step in my house. Been doing that my whole life. <laughs> so what's the question, yeah? All right, so we're just talking about interracial relationships, and they can be difficult if y'all don't know each other's culture. My parents, obviously, I'm the product of an interracial relationship. My dad is Chinese. My mom is How did West that Indian. work? I want to know how that worked. But it is a difficult thing, especially when it comes to having to deal with people's families, right? Imagine uh, for sometimes the the parents or other members of the family don't like you being in an interracial relationship. Did your mom's side of the family like your your pop? Uh, Not too much. I figured that. (laughs) Or vice versa. I figured that. My grandparents did not go to my parents' wedding. Damn. And yes, and it it was not a good situation, and that could have ended things earlier than they did end. (laughs) Wow. So what's the question, Yee? So let's talk about if you've been in an interracial relationship, what have been some of the obstacles you've had to overcome, and what are some things that perhaps didn't work out? If things didn't work out, did it have to do with cultural differences? All right. 800-585-1051. Call us now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. 